10 celebrities who've been sent to prison. 10. Wesley Snipes. Okay, so let's get the most obvious arrest out of the way. Wesley Snipes has served serious time due to tax evasion. This all began in 2006 when he was accused of tax fraud. He was originally indicted on charges of attempting to claim nearly $12 million in fraudulent tax refunds and not filing any tax returns for several years. He served 900 days and was eventually released in 2013. Lucky for him, his career was able to pick up where it left off. 9. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne was sentenced to five months in prison for having marijuana and illegal weapons on his tour bus. Now, do you think that shorted out his Lil Wayne career? Of course not. His career is still going and he's still blazing to this day. 8. O.J. Simpson The unconvicted murderer of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman, finally got his comeuppance. He was eventually found guilty in 2008 for robbery, kidnapping, coercion, and conspiracy in a separate case and sentenced to 33 years in prison. 7. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. spent one year in prison after he was caught trespassing into his neighbor's house and passing out in one of their beds due to being under the influence of some form of illegal substance. He also missed drug testing, which cost him more time. As of right now, however, he has kicked his drug habit and is now one of Hollywood's biggest box office draws thanks in large part to his portrayal of Iron Man in Marvel's cinematic film universe. 6. Christian Slater Christian had to spend nearly 60 days in prison for assaulting his girlfriend while intoxicated on alcohol and illegal substances. Because of this, Hollywood made the cautious decision to steer clear of hiring Slater for the better half of two decades. 5. James Brown Even the late great soul singer James Brown had his low points during his career as he served two and a half years behind bars for assault, among other felonies. He had a long battle with heroin and other drugs, but eventually cleaned up and finished his days sober before dying in 2006 from pneumonia and heart complications. 4. Danny Trejo Danny Trejo is one of Mexico's greatest action stars. Whether he's playing the good guy in a film or the bad guy, you'll always recognize him. Before his career in acting, however, he once had quite the criminal record as he was sentenced to prison for 11 years for drugs and robbery early in his life. Later in life, however, he found Jesus in prison and turned his life around. Now, if he ever plays the role of a villain, he'll only do it if the villain dies at the end, so it gives out the message that crime doesn't pay. 3. Kiefer Sutherland on September 25, 2007, Kiefer Sutherland was arrested for drunk driving. After failing a field sobriety test, his blood tests showed to have exceeded the state's legal blood alcohol limit. He was later released with his bail being set at $25,000. This was Sutherland's fourth recorded DUI since 1989. 2. Mike Tyson Mike Tyson's rape conviction continues to haunt him to this very day and has prevented him from getting a visa to visit the UK. In March of 1992, the former world heavyweight boxing champion received a lengthy six-year sentence for attempting to rape an 18-year-old beauty pageant queen. Although he was released in 1995, he returned to prison in 1999 for assaulting two motorists a year earlier. 1. Mark Wahlberg Good old Mark Wahlberg, the star of the most recent Transformers film, a part of Martin Scorsese's instant classic gangster film The Departed, and even more famously known for his successful music career as a part of Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, has had his fair share of run-ins with the law. Wahlberg spent 45 days in prison after attacking a Vietnamese man on the street and beating him with a wooden stick. He was charged with not only assault, but attempted murder. Luckily for Mark, both sides were able to settle on an agreement outside of court. 